guys, Craig here. Welcome back to the channel. Pretty light. Um, we wanted to bring a little different video for you guys today. You know, we normally are bringing you food videos and highlighting restaurants all around town. But today we want to do a little, like a little error, errand running video and um, uh, talk about some other things that we do throughout the day. Um, we got a birthday party we're going to on Friday, so we need to go buy a gift for that. And then the wife is going to, what are you going to do today, baby? So one of my friends at the gym, her name is Ileana, and I found out she does acupuncture and cupping. And I have never had either one of those, so I'm going to go check it out. Yeah. Um, I'm really interested to see how it's all going to go down. Um, I've been having a pain in my right hip and lower back for years, and this is one thing I haven't tried for it. So I'm really excited to spend some time with her. She's a really sweet girl. And um, we want to share that with you. If you're in Puerto Morelos, you can go check her out as well. Yeah, I would be the video videographer of uh, wife getting poked with needles and suction cups. And all that. <laughs> so yeah, we're out. We just ordered some breakfast. Uh, we're not exactly sure what we got because uh, nothing was in English today. Um, I went with some fajitas. I don't know what's going to show up. I think I got a plate, which I'm pretty excited about. I think we both got plates today instead of tacos. So uh, stick with this, guys, and hopefully we'll have a good day. Bring it to you. Thank you. Oh yeah. She took the day off from the gym this morning. I needed a rest day. I've been going at it pretty hard. And uh, so we're just kind of doing the chill, relaxed day. We'll probably end up hitting the pool later. And uh, yeah, Don got the, what was that? Pork Milanese or beef? I just know it's Milanese. I have just no idea what's it's Milanese. in there. We don't know. <laughs> I just know it's going to be good, right? Yep. And I'm waiting on my dish now. Yeah, I see it coming. Oh yeah, here we go. Ah, this. So I got chicken fajitas. All right, so I got the chicken fajita plate, which looks delicious. As always, we've got fresh tortillas. This is hot sauce is a little different. It's really good. It has a has a good smokiness to it. Um, black beans, which is very common. And um, it's just like an all-around good breakfast, man. And uh, we're gonna eat now. Just finished up breakfast. We've been here twice, and. Um, both times have been really, really good. We don't know the name of it, but I'm gonna show you the intersection that we're at. We're on, we're on the colonial side. Calle Cieba? Cieba? Yeah. Calle Chaca? Chaca, so that's where we're at. <laughs> um, there's a six right across the street here. And I'll just show you what the street looks like a little bit. And um, yeah, so if y'all come down here on the this area come check them out they're really good yes yeah. muy rico muy rico now we're gonna go what are we doing now uh, um <coughs> well we were gonna go plant shopping but they're not open yeah, yet yeah they're, so. they're they're right here and they're not open yet the with all the black tarp that's where we're gonna go buy plants <laughs> but well i guess we'll have to come back later yep it's still early in the morning and um all right now we're gonna go do the the uh cupping and acupuncture thing and uh catch it on video check it out guys hi, hi baby we're coming to see you yes hi, sweet baby hi sweet good baby good girl kelly come on let's go inside yeah come you're a good baby. girl oh she's so sweet <laughs> come please come in thank you oh it's not so good what what are we doing today we're going to do some cupping for her well cupping okay like michael phelps but I'm also going to do some washa. Have you heard of washa? No, tell me about that. It's um, this is a a traditional Chinese medicine tool. Yeah. Oh yes, where you like? Yes, I have had that done before. Do you like it? Yeah. And it's amazing. Okay. It's also really good uh, to find a specific spot where the blood is stained, so okay. it will help a lot. For okay. It. I trust you. Whatever you say, we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. You're going to do. So. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Elena and I am already 
and a, a certified acupuncturist mm -hmm. and all this traditional Chinese medicine of course I have learned <laughs> includes uh, coping, uh, moxa mm -hmm. and acupuncture as well a uh, cranio acupuncture and auriculotherapy. Oh very good. Mm -hmm. So how would how would viewers how would they be able to find you? How would they be able to get a hold of you for your services? Um, I can give you my phone number. My phone number is nine eight four one three 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 seven three six. All right, guys. So we'll post her phone number into the uh, into the screen, so that way you guys can get a hold of her. Gracias. And this is where you would come for service. Would be in your home. Yes, it will be in my home, and I am actually working to get a better spot. So it will be a very nice place. Cool. People can come and enjoy. Fantastic. And awesome. We're going to leave the number, contact her for all of her services and all of her prices, and now we're going to let Dawn get on the table and, and show you some cupping today. This is Nenoli. Mm. This is Callie, the sweetest dog on the planet. Mm -hmm. Tie you up. She just wants to get love. Oh, good girl, Callie. Is it too strong? No. Okay. It feels really cool. Yes. I like it. It helps release all the tension. Hmm. Can you feel that? Mm hmm. <laughs> in this case she has a lot of pain in this area as you yeah. can see yeah. the color of the of these spots are, is changing because there is oh, wow. blood stagnation in here in Chinese medicine stagnation is because we have uh, pain is equal to blood stagnation oh. so what you want to do is to move the blood to to um, to separate all the all the layers of the tissue, so the new blood can come inside, so you will get oxygenized uh, blood, and you mm -hmm. will help release, and you will feel so much better, especially in the in the pain spot. Please let me know if it's so hard. Okay. This uh, doesn't have any secondary effect. The only thing is that she will look less a little bit. Um, with blood um, spots all over the place. As you can see in here, mm -hmm. there is blood stagnation. It's very red. Mm -hmm. And it's ex exactly the place where the, where the cup was like. Jumping. Yeah. You're very red, honey. I believe it. Everywhere. Really red, babe. <laughs> All right, so Greg's about to take his turn now. He's been so intrigued, he's ready to do this. Well, I like that. Mm hmm. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Where's mom? How you feel? Oh, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. It's like a. The pre I, don't, I know it's something stupid to say, but because it's all suction, the pressure, but like I can feel like I have pressure release from me now. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I can really tell some of my troubled spots that I already knew I had coming in here. I can, uh, especially on my shoulder blades, I can totally feel like it's just good. Are your fingers more open? Yeah. So open, yeah, that's the word. Yeah. That's a good word, open. It is, yeah. Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, I think that's the best way to describe it. It just opens you up. Like anywhere she's suctioning those cups, it just like pulls the skin and the blood and just opens everything up. And you just like, I didn't think it was going to be very relaxing. Oh, I'm very relaxed. <laughs> but it's so relaxing, oh. you know? Like it's, back. it feels so good. Am I? <laughs> yeah. Is it the shoulder blade spots? Are they red or? The shoulder blades are more than anywhere else. These ones? The traps a little bit. Yeah, one. because that's where... In here? That's mm -hmm. where my... Uh, you had the most tension? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's so cool. You guys have to come do this, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Come see Ileana. She's awesome. You won't regret it. We do promise. You have a... Okay, guys. So the, the channel that we want to highlight today is called the White Monkey Syndicate. And Don and I have been following these guys for a couple of years now. And what they do is they offer a service, right? If you're interested in teaching English as a foreign language in Southeast Asia, these are the guys to talk to. They are, they can, they are basically will be your liaison for your employment, your visas, your travel, your housing, anything surrounding that whole area of trying to teach English in another country. Also what they're offering now is that they're also expanded their services into Albania and North Macedonia, the Balkans. I believe the countries that they're highlighting right now will be will be China, Vietnam, Cambodia, and the Balkans, which is North Macedonia and Albania. I don't want to give too many details. I'll let them do all the talking on behalf of all that. Um, but if you're interested in teaching English overseas, go see the White Monkey Syndicate. We'll leave a, obviously we'll leave a little description to the link to their channel. Tell them that Don and Greg sent you. Um, I, I can tell you right now, these these the people that run this are extremely trustworthy, and this is what they do, and they're really good at it. They've had a lot of good success with it, so go check them out. Yeah, they're really professional, and to be honest, even if you're not interested in teaching, just go watch their videos. They do great videos, just following around, showing you around town and uh, different places, and I really enjoy just wa watching them walk around town and yep. seeing everything that there is to see, because... I mean, how many of us have uh, are familiar with North Macedonia? Yeah. I didn't even know it existed until they showed it to us. Yeah, I know that they spent about four years in Vietnam, um, but they just recently moved to Albania, and uh, they're making some tra great travel blogs over there, and we're really enjoying them. And I believe it goes so. So ask for Josh and Michelle, and tell them that Don and Greg sent you. All right, guys. So it's the day after our cupping. And I'm feeling a little bit sore. How about you? Yeah, um, that was a really cool experience. It's it's a weird thing where you, you get some relaxation and some some relief, but then because it wakes up all the ugliness that you have, it, I feel sore today. And, um, like I like, like I did a lot of pull-ups or something because because all of mine was in my shoulders. Yeah, we went to the gym today and. Um, <laughs> It wasn't a great performance at the gym. No. <laughs> um, but she did tell us to take it easy, so we followed orders, Ileana. <laughs> yeah. Um, but today we're in for some more pampering. So if you see behind us, Beauty Spa. So uh, her name is Fernanda, and she has this place here. And she does hair, massages, nails, all those sort of things. She does hair? All right, I'm in the right place. Uh, Always has to make a joke about hair. I do. <laughs> but here today we are going to get pedicures because, yeah. you know, it's just something you need to get done every now and then. And it just so happens uh, where we're at. So, let's see it real quick, baby. Mm -hmm. right, here we have the, the spa. But right here is one of our favorite restaurants, Los Patojos, which we've been there several times and made a video. So, right there. And. The super key is right across the street as well. So this is where we're at. If you want to get to where her, uh, her, her the street that she's on, 
and we're gonna put uh, uh, her name and information in the into the into the video. And um, so, we're getting ready to get our petties, and we'll be back. Getting my toes did today. Long overdue. Uh, we've been in Mexico almost eight months now, and it's been probably seven months. So I've had a pedicure. Uh -huh. Very excited. guys so we're feeling pretty relaxed mm -hmm. now that we have uh, both gotten our petties done feeling pretty good let me show you my toes yeah got a little I didn't get any polish <laughs> got a little aqua blue sparkly thing going on there um, so that's gonna be it for this video guys if you watched all the way to the end please give us a thumbs up leave us a it. comment and please subscribe it really helps us out Absolutely. so um we really appreciate it and go do some cupping and acupuncture and go see our friend and get the spa when you're in port Morelos and tell them that don and greg sent you guys thanks a lot Got distracted by birds <laughs> i thought they might have been parrots i like the parrots bleh, bleh. <laughs>